Hello everyone, this video is for the working demonstration of Kubeammer. Kubeammer is a container-aware runtime security enforcement system. It basically utilizes Linux security modules provided by typical Linux kernels for controlling the behavior of containers. And it allows us to apply various security policies into Kubeammer through Kubernetes. Before showing the actual demonstration, this is the screen composition. At the left top, I will show the overall descriptions and a web-based demonstration. At the right top, we will see Kubeammer's messages in runtime. At the left bottom, we will see any alerts that Kubeammer produces. In the middle of the right side, I'm going to use this terminal for policy enforcement. Lastly, at the right button, I'm going to use this terminal to trigger some policy violations. Okay, now let's see how Kubeammer works. Here is a scenario. Let's assume that we have a microservice that contains WordPress and MySQL containers. And then, I'm going to show four use cases. First, in the MySQL container, there are database files in this specific directory. So I'd like to monitor any accesses or operations that happen inside of the database directory. Second, in the WordPress container, there is a file that contains WordPress confidentials such as database ID and password. So I'd like to only allow the WordPress service, which is the Apache process, to access that file. Otherwise, I'd like to block any accesses by default. Third, in general, all containers in Kubernetes have service accounts that can be used to access Kubernetes resources, such as Kubernetes API server. In most cases, containers do not need to access Kubernetes resources while they just need to do their own functionalities. So I want to block any processes that try to access Kubernetes resources by using the service account. Last one is I'd like to simply block the executables that we are not going to use to reduce some attack surfaces. Okay, now let's take a look at each use case. First, I wanted to audit all accesses in the MySQL database directory. So I made policy like this. So we want to audit this specific directory. Let's first apply this policy into Kubernetes. As you can see, once I apply the policy, Kubeammer automatically detected the policy and enforced it into the MySQL container. Now let's make some accesses in that directory. Here, I'm going to initialize the WordPress and the WordPress will internally create its database and some tables. So here, as you can see, there were many accesses in the database directory and the source was MySQL D. Then how about this? Let's get into the MySQL container and do something directly. As you can see, now we have different sources. And now we are able to see what's going on inside the MySQL directory 
like this. Next, I wanted to only allow the Apache process to access WordPress confidentials. For this, we can define two policies. One is to allow the Apache process to access this WordPress confidential. The other is to block the access of this WordPress credential by default. So before applying the policies, as you can see, we can access the wp-config.php and it contains database name, database ID, and database password in a plain text. Now let's apply the policies into Kubernetes. Okay, so now we can still access some of the files, but if we try to access wp-config.php, it shows permission denied, and then we got a log here. So we try to see this file, but this is not allowed. Then does it affect the actual operation of WordPress? We need to check. So let's use the WordPress site. Here, we can actually access the WordPress service without any problem because we only allow the Apache process to access the WordPress confidentials. Okay. In this case, uh, I wanted to block any access to Kubernetes credentials. So here, when we go into service account directory in a container, we can see the certificate here. And we can also see a token here. And then by using that token, we can actually query something to the Kubernetes API server. So we got the response from the Kubernetes API server. So now let's apply the policy. Okay. So after applying the policy, when we try to access the token it shows permission denied and we see this log and when we try to query something to create this API server it replies that 
our query is failed. So any process cannot access the granted resources by using the service account. The last thing was simple. I wanted to simply block the executables that we are not going to use. For example, I'm going to block this apt and apt-get binaries. So before applying this policy, we can actually run those comments. But once we apply the policy, we see those commands are no longer available. Okay, these are all the use cases that I prepared. I hope this video is quite helpful for understanding Kubernetes. Thank you.